Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this amazing minion cake using the surprise cake stand. The surprise cake stand is exactly what it says in the name. It's a surprise cake stand in which a hidden surprise pops up through the center of the cake. I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video. I teamed up with surprise cake to bring you guys this amazing tutorial. I got the surprise cake stand in this beautiful box through the mail and I'm going to go through the list of parts with you. Please be aware that some of the parts in my box are sold individually or in separate sets. Once I open it up, I have these two music boxes. One of them plays Pop Goes the Weasel and the other one plays Happy Birthday. You have the tube and release ring which is what goes through the center of the cake and inside of that goes the gift pod in which you can put the gift of your choice inside. It comes with a spring, this candle topper which you can add one standard birthday candle on top and it comes with a cupcake topper also because this can be used as a cupcake stand as well. These are the music box covers. This is the cake stand base. And it comes with two different size cake plates for different size cakes. To get started on the cake, I'm going to be doing two different cake batters. I'm going to do a vanilla cake batter, which I've dyed yellow to fit with the minion theme, and a chocolate cake batter. So to get started, I have an 8 inch round cake pan, which I've lined with parchment paper, and an 8 inch dome bowl, which I'm also lining with parchment paper. And I'm going to add my vanilla cake batter into here. I bake this at 325 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes for the 8 inch pan and then an extra 10 to 15 minutes for the dome bowl. And the reason why I'm baking it at 325 is because it's a dome bowl so it takes a little longer to bake and I didn't want the cake to burn. Here I have another 8 inch round cake pan which I've lined with parchment paper and I'm going to fill this with the chocolate cake batter. And I bake this at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once my cakes are completely cooled, I remove them from the cake pans. I level them and slice them in half so that each cake is two separate layers. Then I use the cake corer that came with my set to cut through the center of the cake because we're going to need a hole in the center of the cake for our gift to be able to pop out through. I also cut a hole through the center of the cake board under my cake and I'm going to fill this with vanilla buttercream and stack my cakes on top of one another. I stack my 8 inch vanilla cakes together. On top of that, I stack my 8 inch chocolate cakes together, filling with buttercream in between every layer, and then finally I top it off with the dome cake. I place my cake in the freezer for about 30 minutes so that it's nice and set so that we're able to carve this into a domed minion shape. Once my cake is nice and firm, I begin carving the entire cake. When I'm happy with the shape that I want, I give the entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream. Then I let the crumb coat set in the refrigerator and I give it a second coat of buttercream so that it has even coverage all over. When the cake is set once again, I'm going to use my cake corer one last time and insert this through the center of the cake just to make sure that everything is even on the inside. I have some yellow fondant here and I'm going to cover the cake in this yellow fondant. So I just roll it out, I grab it with my rolling pin and I roll it over the cake. Then I use my X-Acto knife to cut a hole through the center of the fondant where the hole in the center of the cake is and then smooth it around the outside of the cake using my hands and a fondant smoother. And I use my X-Acto knife once again to trim the excess fondant around the bottom of the cake. Once my cake is covered in fondant, I'm going to add it onto the surprise cake stand. And as you can see, I already have a surprise gift inside of the gift pod. 
but once I add the cake onto the cake stand, no one will even know that there's a secret surprise inside. I'm going to start making the Minion's eyes, so what I have here is some white fondant and one tablespoon measuring spoon, and I'm going to use that as a mold for the Minion's eyes. Then I brush a little bit of water where I want the Minion's eyes to be, and I place these there. The minion that I'm making is Tom, and Tom has these kind of brown, reddish toned eyes. So what I did was just mix some brown and red fondant together, and I'm going to use a small piping tip to cut the irises of his eyes. Then I add some really small black circles in the center for the pupils. I add these in the center of the eyeballs, and then using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to slice little lines all over the iris just to give his eyes a little bit more life and so they don't look so fake. Now to make the goggles that Minions are so famous for, what I have here is some white fondant that I am going to form into tubes and then I'm going to form into circles that fit perfectly around the eyeball. I set these aside and I spray them with some silver color mist spray and let them dry. Now here I'm just using the end of one of my thin paint brushes and I'm just free forming a smile and then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to cut out that smile. And I'm going to add some black fondant in place of the yellow fondant where we removed the smile. And I'll add a little bit of red fondant through the center of that so that it looks like his tongue. Now with another tube of fondant, I'm just cutting out small pieces and I'm going to smush them down and cut the bottom off so that I have a nice arch shape for the Minion's teeth. And I'm going to place the Minion's teeth on the top and bottom row of his smile. Then once his goggles are set, I'm going to place these around the eyes. And using some black fondant, I make these strips to be the bands around the goggles. And I made some dark blue fondant using a little bit of royal blue and black gel food color. And I'm going to make the strips of the jumpsuits that the minions wear. Using a stitching tool, I'm going to add the stitches on the jumpsuit straps. And I add some silver fondant tubes on the side of the goggles to replicate the little tubes that the Minions goggles have on the sides. Using some black fondant, I'm going to roll out really thin tubes and then I'm going to cut these into little strips and pinch the ends so that they're pointed on top and this is going to be the Minions hair strand. To insert the hair strands on top of the Minion's head, I'm actually using the end of one of my thin paint brushes and I'm inserting it through the top and then I'm inserting the Minion hair strands halfway into that cavity. To finish off the cake, I'm going to add a candle on top of the candle topper. Make a wish! And this amazing Minion cake is complete. Now it's time to show you what this amazing surprise cake stand can do. All you have to do is wind the music box. It'll play this wonderful melody.
Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to Surprise Cake for this amazing cake stand and for sponsoring this video.